All right, y'all, Philly D back with another one. All right, today I got a uh, 2009 Mitsubishi Lancer GTS 2.4 liter engine. All right, so the customer came in for um, an oil change and a check engine light. All right, so I pulled up the code and the code is a, a P0420, which is a bank one uh, CADAC converter, right? And it's basically saying that it's uh, below efficiency. So it's a few ways you could you could check a catalytic converter. Um, one of the easiest ways is to look at the O2 sensors. So um, since I took it for a test drive, um, pull up the O2 sensors and you can watch the O2 sensors um, function as you're driving. Uh, that's the best way to uh, to get a good reading. So um, keep a long story short. Uh, the rare O2 sensor is like it's basically reading it's switching just as fast as the your upstream uh, O2 sensor um, so in this car you got two uh, two O2 sensors a downstream and an upstream um, your upstream is supposed to switch uh, supposed to switch at a certain speed and usually if your uh, downstream is switching at the same speed as your upstream then that's a way you can tell that your car converter is uh, not efficient. Um, so as you can see, when I first started the car, was I thought the uh, O2 sensor was stuck. Um, this one right here, I thought it was stuck. So like sometimes if it's stuck, you know that could cause a, a false reading and also tell the computer like, hey, your car converter is bad when it's really not. But as the car heated up and I started driving, whatever, you can see that that O2 sensor is not stuck. Um, but it is a possibility. Um, this O2 sensor should should stay around like 500 to like 700 millivolts, and it should maintain in there. Uh, it's just this one up top that should go uh, lean, rich, lean, rich, back and forth like that. This one should stay pretty steady. Um, so either way, though, whenever you're usually like from what I from my little experience. Once your computer tells you that you got a bad, that your kind of converter is running uh, below efficiency, it's already too late to fix it. Like whether your O2 sensor is uh, functioning properly or not, once you get that code for your cat, you might as well just change that cat. Um, I've seen a lot of times when guys have changed the O2 sensor thinking it's the O2 sensor, and two weeks later they get another code or the same code for the cat converter being uh, below efficiency. So once you get that code, I mean, your, your Cadillac converter is pretty shot. Um, so yeah, in this case, I'm gonna recommend a Cadillac converter specifically for that cold. Um, and then uh, we're gonna go from there and uh, she's, <laughs> she probably won't like that price, but that's what she's gonna get. All right, y'all, let me uh, give y'all a little real quick uh, look at this uh, Mitsubishi Lancer, because these things is fucking cool, right? Let me pop the pop the hood so you guys can check out the big block all right y'all here we go nice little color too right look at that i like these johns i always like these uh the lancers man not, this is not a new one so the newer ones they pretty much look the same but they're a little different i mean look at the grill like that's one mean ass i just love it like i always love them um, and these Mitsubishi's, man, they do run good. That's the thing about Mitsubishi's in general. I barely ever see Mitsubishi's in a shop. Like, barely ever. Um, I mean, I don't like Mitsubishi like that. It's just not my type of car. But they are nice cars, and they do run, and they really don't break down. Like, they just don't. Let's check out the wheels on this joint real quick. The size wheels, we got 18s. There y'all go. Got the windows tinted on this one. Got the spoiler looking all sporty. There we go. These things is nice, man. They drive good too. This person got like a little exhaust on there, so it's a little, it's a little loud. Man, these cars is nice, man. If y'all, if y'all, if y'all looking for something like this, and this is your first view, I hope you know I'm helping y'all out. You know what I mean? Let's check out the engine real quick. Man. 
There you go, y'all. 2.4 liter. They put this thing in like all their cars for like the last billion years. If you got a 2020, 2021, you could, even though this car is 10 years old, I'm pretty sure you probably got this engine in it. They might have made minor uh, changes to it, but it's the same engine. Here you go. That hood is heavy as hell. All right. Check it out. Check it out, y'all. It's doing nice, man. Yeah, if y'all trying to buy something like this, I, I recommend it, man. Let's see if I got the back doors open this time. Okay. Check out the back, y'all. Pretty clean, right? Nice inside. A little spacious. You know what I mean? Check out the... Uh, this is what it looked like inside. You guys is already in here for a quick sec. Ready, yo. Yep, all your controls. Pretty simple, y'all. Pretty simple. All right. Let's give y'all one more look. If y'all got a car y'all want to check out and I come across it, let me know. Let me know what y'all want to see. And if I come across it, um, I give y'all a little review. I like I like looking at cars, man. I like cars. If y'all haven't noticed. <laughs> You know what I mean? You check out my channel, I like cars. You know what I mean? I don't care what kind of car it is. I, I like cars. So, I like to talk cars. So if y'all wanna talk cars, let's talk cars. You know what I mean? If I get something y'all wanna see, you know what I mean? I definitely review it if I can. Just let me know in the comments. You know what I mean? All right, so let me get back to the shop. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys on the next one.